Are you looking for a way to make your rocket more realistic looking so that it looks like something that NASA or the Air Force has actually flown into, into space? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a technique that will make your rockets look real so that when your friends see them, they're going to say, wow, this guy knows what he's doing when he's making his model rockets. Here's the trick. What we're going to make is what's called a tunnel cover. These are these raised uh, ridges on the side of a rocket, and you see them on all kinds of rockets, like this Bowmark here, uh, or the Saturn 1B here. You see this uh, tunnel cover. Um, this uh, Aerobi, Aerobi High also has three tunnel covers on it. Well, the trick to making these is pretty simple, but really, why does NASA use these things? Well. Most of these rockets um, are just full of propellant, and the brains of the rocket, the flight computer, is up here in the nose, and it's got to direct the, uh, the nozzle back here at the bottom. And the wires, they run them along the side because they can't run them inside because that's where all the fire is. There's, you know, you can't run them inside or they'll, they'll get burned. So they have to run them on the outside. And then what they do is they cover them up with a, with a, basically it's just a piece of sheet metal, just curved. Um, and why do they do this? Well, if you look um, at real rockets such as flown at uh, Kennedy Space Center, um, the technicians are constantly working around these rockets and they're bumping into things and they're snagging things. Um, and these wires, they're, they're kind of delicate so they don't want them to get um, pushed around and bruised and dinged up. Uh, and the other reason they use them and cover them up is because in Florida, where they launch them, it's very humid. And it's also near the ocean, so you have a lot of salt air. And this salt air and the humidity combine and make it very corrosive. And so things are actually literally rusting as soon as they start setting them up. And these rockets are big, and it takes them several days to set them up, maybe weeks. Um, so they want to cover them up and keep them uh, dry and, and so that the water and the rain doesn't get to these things. So that's why they actually use them. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use either you can use a spruce stick like this or you can use a half round dowel. And I like the half round dowels and you can buy these at most any hobby store. Um, and then uh, we're going to shape them so that they look like tunnel covers and most of them have round edges because they make them round because that reduces the drag on the rocket. Um, so the video you're about to see actually comes from the Saturn V construction videos. Now the Saturn V and the Saturn 1B, uh, we do the instructions different in, in video format because it's very detailed and we want you to have a great looking rocket when you're done. So let's go ahead now and watch the video on how to create the curved end on the tunnel covers. And on the front side, we're going to mark the dowel just at the, the middle of these two little ribs right here. And we're now going to shape the dowels. Actually they're going to be rounded like this and then they're also going to be arced over the front. And we're going to carve these using sandpaper. Uh, I'm going to use a medium grit sandpaper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it along the edge and I'm going to sand towards the tip. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. And we're going to do this for, for both dowels 
both front and back side. Now that the tip is rounded, we're now going to bevel the edge downward. Again, we're going to use some sandpaper, and this time we're going to work on the tip. We're going to sand forward. And it helps to support the bottom. See, we're flattening out the tip. And we want to stop when we get to the line right here. But we want it all the way down to a point. And then we're going to round over the edges. Now I'm going to switch to some finer sandpaper to smooth it out and to remove any of the other sharp or hard edges. There's some fine sandpaper. And we're going to do this for both of the dowels, front and back, on the booster section. After you have sanded the end of the tunnel, go ahead and sand the overall surface of the tunnel with some fine grit sandpaper. After it has been completely sanded, you may find that sealing it now with wood filler will be easier than sealing it after it has been attached to the tube. I just use carpenter's wood filler thinned out and then applied with a paintbrush. So you saw how easy that was to make tunnel covers. That's great. So when your friends see your rockets, they're going to be very impressed on how your rocket looks so real. So, if you like these videos, come to the Apogee website, tell us how we're doing, and we'll see you next time. And during that time when you're launching rockets, may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and all, may all your rockets fly straight and true. I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components.